Useless skills here. Um, so, as you know, I don't really have scripts for this. I don't plan this out. That's why there's a lot of ums and, and like, you know, stuttering. <laughs> so, uh, I just did a video where I basically went over the entire PlayStation Showcase, which I'm going to put up. But, I wanted to do like a smaller, even though it might be just as long or even longer video of like the games that I'm excited for, that I'm hyped for. Some of them weren't even in the PlayStation Showcase. So I'm just going to talk about them, maybe watch a little video here and there about them, just to keep update, like, to see what's up with them. So, from the PlayStation Showcase, though, I'm going to go over that first, just to get it out of the way. I'm excited for the Knights of the Old Republic remake. Of course I am. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, duh. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Eh, it's still, I have to see maybe a little more gameplay mechanics and stuff like that. I like what I have saw so far, but I'm just not sold on it, sold on it. And I want to see how the multiplayer aspect plays, because uh, again, if it has couch co-op, I'm a big proponent of couch co-op. If couch co-op comes back with this specifically, making it big, then I definitely will hop on it. But if not, I don't really, I don't really play a lot online with randos. So it's, uh, I mean, even with my friends, I like we play single player. Most of my friends and myself play single player games, and the multiplayer games that they play are like you know shooters or something, and I'm not really into it. But I do like this aspect of taking a looter shooter and making it kind of a fantasy RPG style. Anyway, I'll, I'll see about it. Project Eve looks really, really good, actually. That I'm really excited for. Uh, it was not on my radar before this. Now it definitely is. I like Bayonetta. I like the style of uh, the whole Bayonetta style game that this is. I mean, to me, that's kind of what it's like. And uh, also I enjoy the... Um, I must say Dark Souls-like aspect of it, because I believe like the big bosses are going to be difficult to beat, kind of like Dark Souls. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it, because it looks basically like Final Fantasy meets Dark Souls meets Bayonetta, you know? Alright, Forspoken. Really, really hyped for this game. So, I did not know that it was an action RPG. I thought it was just a straight, uh, regular um, action-adventure. But reading the description here, now I know that it's an action RPG game. I mean, it is Square Enix. They are known for their RPG games. But uh, it doesn't look like anything that they've done before, at least in my opinion. It doesn't look like a Final Fantasy. It doesn't look like a... What's another game they did? Uh, it doesn't look like a, a Square Enix game. So I'm going to go ahead and, and give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, and hopefully it's really good. Because it looks fantastic, especially the environments. But I talked about that in the, in the other video. All right. What else? Uh, Rainbow Six Extraction, like I said, not really into shooters that much. And this is just, you know, Rainbow Six now with zombies. So, it's whatever. It, it happens. That's cool. Alan Wake Remastered. I might definitely get it again. I loved Alan Wake. Again, single player. <laughs> it's a first person shooter, but it's like a, it's like a, you know, like a dead space or like, you know, it's like a, it's like one of those OG horror first person shooter games you know like the first person shooter game that that really brings me back to my childhood besides alan wake is uh, resident evil 4 on the gamecube bro that shit was fire uh but yeah this is this is definitely i'm, I'm definitely gonna check it out because i love to see them you know uh remaster something that i enjoy all right uh gta 5 of course is now on the, gonna be on the ps5 that's great i'm excited for that too ghostwire tokyo i don't know about this one I'm in and out. Like, I like the fact that it's horror. And again, like, you could tell it's leagues ahead of whatever Alan Wake was. and But this is where we are now. And uh, I feel like really the stepping stones have been after Alan Wake. Uh, what's the other game? Uh, Until Dawn was really good. Uh, they have uh, they have this other game. Uh, Enemy Within was really good. So it's like they, they the levels of stuff that it continues to get really, really, really good. And uh, PT was amazing, and even it was not even a fully fleshed out game, but it was also great. But uh, but yeah, and like so, this is like the, I feel like the next level of horror. Where it's like a horror slash action adventure game, but I like the fact that it has the uh, first person shooter aspect, even though I don't like it for myself. Um, it's it, it, like it it looks like in the game it looks really unique and like its own thing. I really like the style, even of the ghosts and stuff. It's really different from stuff that I've seen, so I'm excited for it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Uh, I'm going to have to see more gameplay and stuff about it, but I, I like it. I like the style of the game. It's really cool. Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to get it. It's a, you know, action-adventure. Not anything like what Square Enix just did. Was it Square Enix that did it? 
the, the goddamn Marvel's Avengers game that was horrible. So, um, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, this, this one looks fun. It looks like the, they're portraying the characters more or less to the best of their abilities. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going comic accurate versions, not movie accurate versions, or maybe a mixture of the two. But, uh, but I like it. It looks fun. It looks quippy. And, um, yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm gonna enjoy just going through the story, really. Uh, Blood Hunt, that actually looks really good. It's basically, uh, like a, it's, it's like a shooter, not a looter shooter. I mean, I guess kind of a looter shooter. It, it does remind me, like, it has aspects of, like, Destiny and stuff like that. But, uh, it also reminds me of, like, Left 4 Dead a little bit. Or other Valve games that are kind of like, you're the bad guy, but you're after the good guys, but then they're the good guys, but then, sorry, they're the bad guys and you're the good guy, like, you could switch between, you know, which faction of whatever represents whatever. That's what it seems like to me. There's different factions of vampires. But I really like the vampire aspect of it. And I like the different abilities that they're able to do. The different weapons that they're able to have. Like, it's not just shooting. Like, some of them have swords and they block with the swords. And they seem to be able to also attack the shooters. So, it seems evenly matched. But we'll see when it comes out. But I, I, I'm looking forward to it. It looks cool. Deathloop um, is already out. I think it's out now. September 14th, yeah, so yeah, it's out, um, I have not bought it, I have not played it, I've seen gameplay for it, and I do like, uh, Dishonored, at least the first one, um, I think Prey also was from the same creators, but, uh, I never tried Dishonored 2, and again, it's like the first person aspect of these games, uh, I can't, it's nothing against it, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just, it's very jarring for me, so I can't really get into it as much as I'd like to, there are some first person games that I do enjoy and can do, but uh, not Deathloop and like De and and and, um, and uh, sorry, Unch uh, what is it? What was the name of it? I just said it. Uh, Dishonored. It, it was really it was really like fast paced first person. If you know what I mean, like you really have to jump from place to place and do a lot of stuff and be really quick about things. And I'm like, it's very jarring for me to move the screen and do all that stuff in first person. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to play Deathloop. Um, it looks fun. It looks like it has a great story as well. I just. It's and, and the art style I really enjoy. I just feel like it's not for me. Um, but I hear great things. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, of course, is basically just Uncharted being remastered for the PlayStation 5, which I'm with it. I love Uncharted. Um, I might get it. Uh, hopefully it, it becomes included with the bundle of, like, you know, your PlayStation Now or whatever, and you get it for free, hopefully. But if not, you know, I might get it because I like, you know, again, games that I enjoy being remastered. Like uh, Shadow of the Colossus, I've had it. And every time they remastered it, I buy it because it's it's a perfect game, in my opinion. Uh, Kid A Amnesia or Kid Amnesia Virtual Exhibit. I don't know what this is. It doesn't. It's not really clear what it is. Um, I know Kid A is an album by Radiohead, but I don't know what that has to do specifically with this exhibit or exhibition. I don't even know what that means. How it's gonna? So it's gearing up to release a virtual exhibition around its best-selling albums, Kid A and Amnesiac. Oh, okay, so it's both of the albums together. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, weird control vibes. Okay, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what it is still. <laughs> but I guess it has to do with, I mean, I know it has to do with Radiohead, but I, I don't know what exactly, but I'm with it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, whatever it is. Hopefully, if it is being released this November, I'll and then I'll check it out, you know? It sounds fun. Uh, Tachia, yes, I'm looking forward to Tachia. It definitely reminded me of Breath of the Wild. I think I even mentioned that in the video, in the other video. Uh, I like the soul jumping aspect. Um, I do like that stuff. It looks like an exploration kind of game. Not really sure. Uh, I, I like towards the end of the trailer, there was like bad guys or something. So I'm not really sure who the bad guys are or anything like that. But I assume there's a, it's a, like a really cool action adventure game. So I'm definitely going to check it out. And I like the language that they're speaking, whatever it is. Wolverine, of course. I am hype. I am excited. Insomniac is doing it. So I'm definitely, definitely keeping my eye on this one. Um, I'm hoping that they cross universes. Or I'm hoping that the X-Men get introduced this way. Like, uh, I'm, I've been looking for a good X-Men game since X-Men Legends. And I gotta say, I hope this is the one. You know what I mean? Like, I hope this is one of them. Uh, but yeah, I'm hyped for Wolverine, of course. So far, like, they just basically, the trailer is just a teaser. It's like an animation. Nothing really gameplay-wise. So I think they really just got the rights for it, maybe. 
uh, not too long ago, so they haven't really worked on it, and it's not releasing until I think until 2023 or 2024. So it's definitely far, far away. So I'm not really like I'm still paying attention to it, but I'm not. It's not like I'm ready for it. Well, I am ready for it right now, but I'm saying I, I don't think it's going to come out anytime soon. But I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Gran Turismo 7 again. Racing games. Not really a big fan of racing games. They're okay. I'm not saying they're bad. This is of course the seventh Gran Turismo, and Gran Turismo has been around since the beginning of PlayStation, and they've been great, so I assume they've fine-tuned and made everything better, because I don't think there's been a Gran Turismo release since 6, right? I think they maybe released something where it was like like a weird Gran Turismo or a mashup of old Gran Turismos or something like that, but it wasn't like actual legitimate next Gran Turismo, so this is the actual legitimate next Gran Turismo, so hopefully they, I don't know, done something to the franchise to make it, make it compatible or, or worth it, you know? So, I don't know, but uh, I'm not really, like I said, this is not something I'm really looking forward to, so I'm skipping it. Uh, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, uh, of course, uh, of course. <laughs> so, Spider-Man and God of War, to me, were the best games of the last generation of the, um, of the PlayStation 5. The epitome of what games could be on the PlayStation 5. I mean, on the PlayStation 4, sorry. So, uh, I'm looking forward to what they're able to do now on the PlayStation 5. Everything. Venom coming, Craven the Hunter, my favorite villain. Well, one of my favorite villains. There's a lot of favorite villains from <laughs> from Spider-Man. Um, Mysterio being another one that finally got his movie debut. But anyway, I digress. Hype for Sp for uh, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, definitely. So that was all that was in the showcase. So now we're going to go over some games that weren't in the showcase, but I've seen and I'm really excited to, um, to, look, to look at and see what they're at. So, uh, IGN, even though I don't like IGN, they got a preview for this game. Nobody else has it, so... If there's one thing that developers I'm hyped for it. ...has shown that they have a unique mastery of in the world of video games, it's martial arts. And if 2017's hand-to-hand -hand combat focused open-world RPG Absolver wasn't... Yeah, I haven't played Absolver, but it looks fun. Beat -em -up, but this game looks really good. better than the Paris -based studio. After getting a 30-minute developer-driven demo, I find it hard to argue against that point. So it looks like, uh, damn, I forgot the name of this game. So uh, I think Sleeping Dogs was one of them. It had a light, like, kung fu. There was this one game with this guy who's this famous movie guy, and I forgot his name. But he was, like, shooting, and it was, like, slow motion, and there was a lot of, like, this kind of stuff. And then also there was, like, this PS2 game back in the day. Jet Li was in it, and it was, like, a cool use the joysticks to fight kind of game. And uh, I really like like kung fu karate type games, and for them to be able to make it look like you know you're actually fighting like this, like this looks amazing. So that's really what I'm hyped for. Um, the preview was really good. You guys should check it out. It's basically just them talking about how the mechanics work, like how fighting works, what you're able to do, how you're able to parry, block, and use the environment and stuff like that. But I just really like the visuals, so I'm definitely definitely checking this game out. So far, I've only seen scenes of this area, so I don't know if this is like a bigger game or this is going to be like one of those, you know, $20, $30 smaller games where it's like maybe 10 hour game or five, six hour game, something like that. But even so, I'm hyped because if it gives them enough money to make another bigger version of this game, I'm still going to be able to, I'm, I'll, I want to fund them for that because this game looks absolutely awesome and exactly what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I feel like these games, you know, games like this don't exist. You know, the fighting in games is really just you're overpowered, you're fighting and slashing, hacking and slashing or whatever. And this, like, kind of, like, technique, if, if you will, it doesn't really exist. Except for maybe, like, in Dark Souls and stuff like that. But again, that's more of a hacking, slashing kind of game. Not really, like, a hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of game. So I really like this kind of stuff. All right, we're moving forward because it's, it's a lot of stuff. All right, uh, Stray. So this I saw back in 2020, um, and it's Hello like everyone. My name is awesome. Oh, oh sorry. So yeah, it's uh, it, it's a game about a cat. <laughs> I like cats. Also, Annapurna Interactive. Let me tell you, they're killing it because 12 minutes was awesome. But if you don't have an Xbox or you have access to um, Xbox uh, Xbox Game Pass, 12 minutes is fire. Sorry, I'm going to mute this. So yeah, 12 Minutes is Fire. Um, it has Willem Dafoe. Uh, um, what's his name? The guy from Split. Uh, J James McAvoy, the guy from X-Men. Uh, the new, the, the last uh, Xavier. And uh, and Daisy Ridley, the girl from Star Wars. Voice acting, really, really good. Really, really good. Um, 
I played it for like maybe, I don't know, six, seven hours. It, it, it's a kind of a murder mystery kind of game, really point and click, kind of like how this game is looking to be, but there's not a lot of freedom to move around and stuff. This is more of a free roaming game. But it's kind of like this, where you click a stuff and you, you know, oh, things, you activate things in order to solve puzzles and stuff in the game. It's really cool. Anyway, we're not talking about 12 minutes, we're talking about Stray. This game looks fucking adorable. All right, that's why I want it. That's the only reason I want this game. I want to be a cat. That looks awesome. That looks fun. Uh, I know there's like a- a- action adventure elements to it because you know and puzzles like you saw with the fan and all this other stuff. And then there's like these robots. I guess it's in the future or something. And like the cat is saving the robots or something like that. I'm not really sure what it's about, but I'm hyped to play this game. All right, any game where you can be a cat, I am there, and I'm with it. I guess you get a little robot companion because you know cats can't do everything. But this is this looks this looks awesome. This just looks great. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, like so far, uh, everything that I've seen about this game has been you're roaming around the streets of uh, a slum or some kind of city as a cat. You get to do everything as a cat. So the cat is the main character. You're the cat the whole time. I'm with that. You have a little backpack. You you get like you pickups and different stuff. Look at him using a little machine. That's adorable. I want that. I want that so bad. All right. Uh, I, I can sit here and just watch this cat do stuff all day. Um, let me just skip ahead. I think there's they show the enemies. Because there is uh, it is an action-adventure game. There's enemies, and you do get to fight, I guess, in a way. Um, these things, whatever these things are. Yeah, those things. Whatever those things are. Start attacking you there. You know, move around. It's really cool. I'm hyped for it. Like, it looks very... Very cool. The mechanics look good. Everything looks beautiful. I'm with it. I'm 100% with it. No idea what those things are, but I'm with it. <laughs> Alright, uh, solving puzzles and stuff. That's cool. Alright, now, next, moving on. Sorry, so Stray is another one I'm looking forward to. Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I've already bought this game. Oh, Kenna Bridge sorry. of Spirits. You venture through the lands. So, I've already bought this game. I'm just waiting for them to uh, release it. <laughs> and uh, and it's funny because I don't really pre-order games. I wouldn't recommend pre-ordering games. I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. For smaller studios and for smaller games, I do. And I feel like this is, even though I think it's a full-price game or a full game, I still feel like the studio's not big and they haven't really done many games. But this, just the trailer and the gameplay that I've seen for it, really, really reminds me of something that I really enjoy. So, in any action adventure game, so I'm definitely 100% checking this out and uh, playing it. Like it's the, they sold me in like the first trailer, really, with the little little black things that look like Spirited Away from Spirited Away. So they sold me right away off of that, and it's just awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think it comes out. It was supposed to come out, I think, in August, but it got pushed to September. I digress. I'm looking forward to this game. Really hyped for it. Looks amazing. Um, oh, let me make myself smaller. Okay. But yeah, it looks really good, so I'm really hyped for it. What else? This game, haven't heard a lot after, since I think this is still a trailer from last year. Uh, Hogwarts uh, Legacy. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a PlayStation exclusive. I assume it's going to be. But uh, it looks really cool, at least the cinematic stuff that they released. I don't really know anything more right now. Sorry, I'm just going to be through. So yeah, this is it. Right here. Every portrait, every stone in this castle. I like Harry Potter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. And I feel like there hasn't been a real, like, top-notch Harry Potter game. I like uh, this this old game. What is it? Uh, Quidditch? Quidditch Cup or something like that. It was for PlayStation 2, I remember. Or was it for GameCube? I forgot. But uh, it, was, it was this game where you're basically just playing Quidditch. And it was a cool, it was like a good sports kind of game, but it was difficult. <laughs> it was wonky. Um, catching the snitch, all this stuff. It's just, it was crazy. But uh, hopefully they, they, you know, up their game here. It looks like they have exploration. The graphics look really good. Usually these games are infamous for having like really bad graphics. Um, but yeah, no, it looks, it looks okay. And uh, so far, I haven't seen any gameplay for it, as I said. But this all looks like, you know, not cinematic cutscenes. It looks like in-game kind of stuff, you know, at least in my opinion. Hopefully this is in-game stuff. 
But yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I like Harry Potter, so I'm with it. Yeah, that looks that looks cool. All right. What else? All right, Horizon Forbidden West. So this is one of my most anticipated games. Or sorry, it was one of my most anticipated games of this year. But they pushed it till next year. So now I feel like it's going to compete with... Uh, I think God of War 2 is coming next year. Because I don't think Spider-Man 2 is coming next year. So I think God of War 2 is... And listen, God of War 2, I'm sorry, but it's definitely a more... Well, we'll see. Because, you know, this these are both sequels. So they could fumble it. But I highly doubt any of these studios are going to fumble it. But if, let's say, on par with the first game, both of these games. And fix like the, some of the stuff, the problems that they had in the first game. This game levels up to God of War back the first, well, the, not the first, the, the latest God of War status. And then God of War 2 elevates to a whole new status because it's just made that status. Like, the, the God of War status is already made by God of War that just came out. So now the God of War 2 status is going to make the new status where this one might hopefully meet it. But, uh, but yeah, like, it looks amazing. Graphics look cool. Gameplay looks awesome. Uh, you can now dive underwater let me see if i can find that uh i mean i don't have much to say about this it's horizon zero dawn if you played the first one you know it's really funny i have a funny story about this i bought the first one at the same time that i bought my switch and i bought uh zelda breath of the wild i was going to play this first on my playstation 4 and then i played breath of the wild and i couldn't put it down and then i just skipped this game i played all these other games oh there's the underwater segment that's fire but yeah, I played all the other games before I could come back and, and I was like, let me give it a shot. I heard good things. Everyone really likes this game. Let me try it. And I don't know why I wasn't into, because uh, it is an action adventure game with very much similar aspects to, in my opinion, the very first couple of Assassin's Creed, where they have, you know, exploration of the map and you have to get a viewpoint and all this other stuff. So I was like, and you know, technically the, 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 all the, all the robots or robot animals are assassination targets, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, it's basically, like, a really good, to, a more accessible, let me say, Monster Hunter. Because Monster Hunter is really good, but it was more accessible, like, to a more general audience, in my opinion. And it has, again, in my opinion, a better story. But, uh, but yeah, like, it's just really, really awesome, really cool game. And I, I'm mad I slept on it for so long and then decided to play it. And then I loved it. I, I don't know why I decided to wait so long to play the game. But it was really it was really worth it after I decided to play. All right, enough about Horizon Forbidden West. So again, most anticipated game of this year is now my most anticipated game of next year. Well, no. God of War 2 is my most anticipated game of next year. But this is up there. Definitely up there. Now, this is another game. Not a lot of people out here talking about it. I saw the trailer for this. Uh, this is from what? Back in 2017? Back in 2017, or I guess 2018. Uh, I don't know if it came out, actually. Maybe it did, and I'm just bugging. But it looks cool. I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, this might not be the game that I thought it was. Might not be the game that I thought it was, guys. Sorry. Okay, that's back in 2020. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the game that I thought it was. Okay, good. So, yeah. Definitely. It looks fun, you know? I like the art style. I think everything's being compared to Zelda Breath of the Wild, but it's very Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah, this is the trailer that I saw. So, I saw this in 2020, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so that first trailer I had not seen, but it looks awesome. Definitely hype. So it's got to be a console exclusive. Okay, cool. But yeah, hype for that game. All right, so now these are games uh, that I've played. And uh, some I enjoyed, some I didn't. So Ratchet & Clank, uh, Rift Apart, really, really loved it. Played it. 
I played the original Ratchet and Clank, uh, not the original, but the um, Ratchet and Clank, the, la the one that just came out for PlayStation 4 not too long ago. I replayed it again right before Rift Apart, and it leads perfectly into each other. It's really good. Really fun game. Uh, if you have a PS5, you should check it out, because it's really great. Um, Ghost of Tsushima Iki Island, uh, I'm going to try to play and maybe stream it, hopefully. I might play Ghost of Tsushima all over again from the beginning, just because I feel like I gotta get back in the rhythm of, you know, fighting, because it's not easy to fight in this game. So, uh, I might have to do that, just because, like, Iki Island is a harder island in the game, so it, it's really cool to, like, basically go through everything so that I, you know, can refresh my memory on how to fight. <laughs> So that I don't run into stuff and die all the time. Um, Halo Infinite is another anticipated game for Xbox. Uh, it's really my only most anticipated game for Xbox. I'm not going to lie. There's not a lot of games for Xbox that I'm most anticipated. Uh, it's this one, and actually, it's not even on my list right here right now, but it should be. It's, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Yes. Hellblade 2, Senua's Sacrifice, that's another one. That's another one that I'm hyped for and waiting for. Uh, it was a Sony, I think a Sony exclusive title. And then uh, uh, Xbox, Microsoft bought the studio, so now they're making this one specifically for Xbox. But I'm hyped for it. Yeah, I'm hyped for it. It looks great. I'm with it. I'm definitely with it. I'm definitely with it. All right. Sorry. So, besides Halo, that's my other Xbox uh, most anticipated game. Don't know when it's coming out. Uh, same for Halo. I think it's November. Yeah, November 15th it says it's supposed to come out. So, hopefully it's good. I don't know. Biomutant. Now, this was uh, a very highly anticipated game of mine back when I saw the trailer and some gameplay aspects of it. After I played it, though, hmm, I didn't really like it. So, uh, I don't really recommend it. I, I would recommend it. If you, you know, if it was like on Game Pass or something, just to pass the time. But if you have to actually buy it, which at this point you still do, I don't really recommend it that much. Um, but it was, it was okay. It wasn't bad per se, but I don't know. I feel like uh, in the infinite, in, in the finite amount of time that I do have to play games, I don't like to waste my time playing games that I'm not really, that I don't really enjoy. And I would run a recommend a game for someone that they might not enjoy. And uh, by, it's, it's, not a, it's not that it's a bad game. I just don't think it's for everybody. And, uh, and, and and by everybody, I mean even the people that like this specific genre type of game. I still don't think it's for them. This is like for people that are okay with a little bit of, you know, not so great versions of what they like. <laughs> if that makes sense. But uh, the animals are cute and the, custom, the character, character customization is really cool and fun. So I would recommend it. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, just for that, because that that they do really good. Other stuff in the game, not so much. But uh, the game's all right, I guess. All right, that's it. It's all the games that I have to talk about, to say. Uh, oh, no, actually, there's another one. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. How did I forget? Uh, damn. I forgot the name of it, too. Batman game's coming out. Gah, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights, ladies and gentlemen. I am hyped for Gotham Knights. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but it's awesome. I still don't know when it's coming out, uh, but I'm waiting for it. And it's basically like you get to play Red Hood, you get to play Robin, you get to play Batgirl, and you get to play Nightwing. So I'm hyped. That's every level of Robin that I enjoy <laughs> and every level of Batgirl that I enjoy. So I'm really hyped for it. It's really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer for it or not, but uh, it's it's really really awesome. It's basically just Arkham City or Arkham Knights or whatever. Well, not Arkham Knights. The Batman Arkham games, but with all these guys, and it looks really cool. Hi, I'm Patrick Redding, creative director on Gotham Knights. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I couldn't find a good video, but uh, it looks awesome and it's amazing. And that's another game that I'm hyped for. Sorry, I didn't mention it. Um, yeah, I think I think that now, now, that is it for now that I'm hyped for. It's a lot of games, I know, but that that's about it. That's about it. All right, see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stuff, and uh, I'm trying to make more videos for you guys. Have a good one.